did I get to the wrong train station in Paris? Well, not wrong, I still went to uh, go to my destination, <laughs> right? But uh, anyway, so a little while ago, I left uh, the UK for France, uh, so I managed to get out there despite lockdown, so I managed to squeeze in and came back safely, went back safely. But the, uh, little did I know that I was going to go through Paris via uh, using a taxi, God knows, through Paris, from one side of Paris to the other. Okay, it's quite funny. Anyway, so if you uh, quite like this kind of video, please uh, subscribe, like and share and press that little bell underneath the video so that you can get notifications on different videos I am doing uh, related to Rogers One and Adventures. Adventures, yes, adventures can be in any shape or form. So I had quite a bit of a laugh. But anyway, so I, I, went, on, I went online. And usually my preferred options is speak to somebody. I prefer speaking to somebody to because I love human interaction, will you believe it or not? I would rather speak to somebody to book my my ticket, my plane ticket, even if it's on the phone, you know. Uh, so I did it online and oh it took me hours, it gave me a bloody headache. Yeah, oh my god, and I went on two different websites, I went on trendline and we.org, no it's not .org, we, that's the website link to the uh, French SNCF which is the company running the trains in France, yeah, uh, partly pa uh, private and partly owned by the state. But for some reason, I, I've been to France before, so I flew to Charles de Gaulle before from Manchester. Uh, airport and uh, from the, uh, from Charles de Gaulle, I used to be able to get on the train to um, from Charles de Gaulle there to go to Angers, Loire Valley, where I am, and uh, yeah, and uh, for some reason because of this lockdown and then um, and companies here not being able to book uh, right through from you know from the flight up to the train and going to Angers in, in one booking. So I had to do a booking separately for my train. And uh, so that was a bit of a, of a headache. And then I should re because there is only four trains for, from Charles de Gaulle, I was a bit concerned. So why did? <laughs> and, I'm, and I think I, I also, Charles de Gaulle uh, slipped my mind to be honest, because the, it's beautiful trains, very quick, very fast, very smooth. And, uh, but I ended up uh, getting a train from Paris Montparnasse, Paris Montparnasse. They're more frequent trains, so I thought it was going to be fine. Oh, it was fine in the end, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> so I realized, so when I, when I got off the, uh, the plane, we had to do it in order because of the restriction and that kind of thing. And I finally spoke to a lady there and then explained that. Uh, and I thought Mopanas were not very far from the airport. <laughs> Little did I know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know my uh, geography very well, my uh, Paris geography very well. Paris Mopanas is on the other side of Paris. So I went to the uh, I went to the lady at the at reception very very nice lady. I was going to say beautiful. Yeah, she was beautiful too. <laughs> yeah, very nice person. And then uh, yeah, oh the crowd in there. The index so anyway, so Paris Montparnasse yeah, so I had to go to Paris Montparnasse. I had no choice. I told her the time of my train. Uh, sorry, my play. Uh, sorry, my train from from uh, from Paris Montparnasse to to Angers, and it didn't take long from Paris Montparnasse. But not surprised. It's on, on the other side, and uh, so I did quite a distance to get there. So she, I said to her, "What's the best way to get?" There? Oh, you can jump on the bus there, and it goes there. You get out there, and then you go there, and then you go there, and then you go. Oh, I said, I don't know Paris. I don't live here, I don't know Paris, so the best way for me to miss my train is probably to go by bus. So, is there another way I can go? Oh yeah, can I get a taxi there? Oh yeah, easy, monsieur. So, uh, you go over there, over there, and then they, these are all the taxis. And then, because I, lo I look so desperate and all that, and she said, Mais monsieur, il y a pire. Sir, there is worse than that. <laughs> so I think that that's something that's great to stick in my mind for the rest of my life. Mais monsieur, il y a pire. Mais sir, there is, where things do happen in life than just that. So anyway, so I said thank you very much. So went and get the taxi. 
And then because of the restriction, it was quite a tax. Uh, it was quite a through Paris than usual. Still quite busy. So I got my train on time. But if it had been a busy period, I think I would have missed my train. Yeah, a good chance I could have missed it or catch it at the very last time. So that was quite funny. So, but as you can imagine, the taxi fare was quite high. Yeah, interestingly speaking, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I ended up paying around 80 euros, I think. Can't remember exactly now, but it took uh, quite a bit. But I made somebody happy, the taxi driver, not just because I paid a high fare to go through Paris, but because I was his first job in, in Yonks due to the restrictions. Yeah, and uh, so he... Um, he was quite pleased with that, obviously, and I actually I had to come from the UK to make somebody happy over there with regards to his work. <laughs> so I found that quite funny. So that's quite interesting. But yeah, so in the end, uh, I got there, went to Paris Montparnasse. And guess what? Even though there are plenty of trains from Paris Montparnasse going in different direction, they are, there was only one for Angers on that day. I don't know why. Yeah, one that stopped in Angers or something, or I did not have to change anywhere. And it was packed. It was packed. And we all are uh, our mask and all that. Yeah. And at the time. So how to get it wrong. So next time, guys, if you go to uh, um, when you go to Paris, hopefully we can do that soon. I don't know when that's going to happen. But when we can do that soon, that will be wonderful. And hopefully this time I book my train from the right place unless I decide to drive but then again at the moment we can't go anywhere and uh, so that would be quite uh, quite something and I was looking really and then I forgot also, uh, at the time you know it has changed so 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 much now you when you get your your train ticket from the internet you get uh, like a barcode on it uh, then to scan with or something because uh, previously to that which I didn't realize they changed it from the time before I went to France is that the, uh, how can I put it, you had to put your uh, your ticket in a machine to get it validated. So I was looking for one, actually. And then, so in Montparnasse, no, I had just to scan my barcode and I go through the gates, just like that, and then went to the right uh, platform. And uh, so I, luckily I spoke to somebody there who took me to the right platform because that's that's where he was going to, with the, looking, the, with the person he was looking after. And then when I was in Angers, I had in my mind, when I was in, coming back here, oh no, so yeah, you know, yeah, there is no uh, composting machine uh, as such, so when you validate your ticket. There might be some session, I don't know, but it's changed from that to a scanning system, okay. And then, and then, and then you can get through. So we have to keep up today, don't we, with what's going on. But, you know, if you want, <laughs> If you want your trip to, to cost twice as much as you paid in the first place or something like that, get, you know, book, uh, good, uh, get your train ticket on the other side of Paris or wherever <laughs> and go by taxi through, through it. So, yeah, that was for the adventure. I mean, not only on that, when I, when I, when I got to, uh, oh, but there was another thing here, my mobile, as soon as I got in France, uh, yes, from the UK, my mobile was an uh -uh, just stopped working completely, absolutely complete. Whereas well, the year before it didn't, it works fine. That could be, uh, you know, an early Brexit effect on the, on the, on the on the system because the year be the time before that when I went to France, it was absolutely fine. Yeah, but it stopped completely, so I did not have any means to phone my family, and uh, there are very few telephone out there where you can put coins in and phone up. It's all. Um, this and that, and you have to use, uh, yeah, so I was quite of snookered. Good job, uh, my family doesn't, the, uh, my, the house of my family uh, is only about uh, probably like 10, 15 minutes away on walk. So they came to pick me up, and then I was waiting for them at another side. So in the end, I was told off by one of the officers, so I could, I'd have to put my mask uh, uh, over my nose, okay, and then, uh, and then, but uh, he was also a very kind person, so I asked him if I could use his telephone and he kindly uh, lent it to me and I could phone uh, my family. And he was quite amazed I could remember telephone number, <laughs> number like that from the top of my head. 
<laughs> so thanks very much to him and his kindness. And you know, officers can be kind, they just have a job to do. Okay, and uh, whether they like that job, that's another thing, but they had the job to do. He was very nice, very tall, very, very tall. And uh, he let me use his phone, then I found family. And then, we, because they were kind of worried because I was, they were going to pick me up. So I said, where are you? So they, they came back, they came once, they came back, and I was waiting for them outside the, uh, the, the chemist out there. There is a chemist at the train station. Okay, so, uh, Anyway, so in the end, all went fine. But obstacles after obstacles after obstacles after obstacles. <laughs> Quite funny. Yeah, so next time, because I got angry when I, get on, when I got on the website, that's probably one I made that mistake from Paris Montparnasse, yeah. But I don't know, in the end, because I was so confused about the lockdown and all that, I was worried where, whether I would be able to book a train from, what do you call it now, uh, Charles de Gaulle. But anyway, all that. You know, so how to pay more money on a trip? Do like me, you know, get, get on the plane to Paris. And if you need to go somewhere, <laughs> make sure if you don't want to pay any more stuff <laughs> anymore on your on your trip, make sure you uh, book your train from the right train station. So next time when I go to Angers or where I, whether I go to Nantes or whatever is the same thing. Angers, Nantes and it goes right to Brittany and all that. Uh, I'll get. I'll do it from Charles de Gaulle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, at least I met somebody happy, um, because he was looking for for some business and which he didn't have for a while. Okay, because his turnover turn went down by eighty percent when I was talking to him. Yeah. But I was quite glad as well that the <laughs> the uh, the crossing over Paris went quite quickly because I think otherwise maybe I could have been short of money. But that's another story and it didn't happen, I'm glad it didn't. Okay guys, so guys out there, just be careful when you play. Don't pull your airs out like I did, that's why I've got none left here. And don't pull your airs out and then make sure you get it right in the first place and then uh, so if you're like me, you prefer speaking to a human being, well try try to do so if you can okay if you got any comments any hiccups that happen in one of your trips uh, going somewhere please leave a comment below and press that little bell too leave, i would love to hear about anything that, that could have happened to you okay guys see you later